doing a tag video and this is the best of 2014 tag. I had been debating with myself of whether I wanted to do like a year in favorites video, if I wanted to do beauty and fashion and random favorites and I couldn't decide how I wanted to do it so I was thinking of just not. But then this morning I saw Elko NYC do this tag video. It was originally created by Mini Mishi 21 so I will link both of those videos in the down bar and I will also tag some people for this tag video so if you haven't done year in favorites yet I will tag you in the description bar or if you've already done year in favorites but you haven't done some of these questions I would love to see that too. Um, if I do not tag you then you can go ahead and if you film this video link it in the comment and I would love to go watch it. I think these are fascinating just to see what people prefer and the things they loved over the year so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the questions and show you what some of my favorites are for this year. The first thing is my most worn clothing item. So my most worn clothing item is a type of shirt basically. I have three of these. These are the Morona, I don't know what they are, they're like three quarter lengths shirts. They're a little bit longer so you can wear them with legging type things. Um, this one is like a white and navy striped one. I have a plain white one. I have a mint and white striped one. And these are just super versatile. I think that they're really great to wear um, as like cozy everyday stuff. They're really good for layering. You can wear scarves over them and wear them with leggings and boots and they're just really practical. So I wore these a ton in the beginning of the year especially and they've started to come back out again as the weather got colder so I could layer them. But these are super awesome and they're fairly inexpensive. I don't know what the exact name of them are. Um, but they've got kind of like a boat neck thing here. I really, really like those though. The next one is most worn shoes. And actually for this category and a lot of other ones, I have two because I'm really indecisive and I can't pick just one. So the first thing I have is this pair of boots. These are bear trap boots that I got from Famous Footwear. Um, I love boots. Like as soon as the weather got cold enough to wear boots, my boots were out. Um, I wore them probably a little bit longer into the spring than I needed to, but I absolutely adore boots. So these are just nice, comfortable brown boots. I've had them for probably two years now, but I absolutely adore these. And then my other most worn pair of shoes would be my mint green <laughs> my mint green Converse. So I love Converse. I have a ton of different pairs, but mint green is my absolute favorite color right now and these shoes are just super cute. So. Next question is favorite foundation and this year was a year that I worked through several different foundations and there wasn't one that I absolutely loved necessarily but the one that I found out that I liked better than most of the other ones I've tried so far this year um, I would have to say the one that looked least cakey and most natural anyway was the Revlon Colorstay and this one is the one for normal to dry skin because this is what I have left but I used up the one for um, normal to oily skin and that one's a little bit better suited for my skin most of the time but I would say this one had the best coverage that looked more natural. I'm learning that my Estee Lauder one just doesn't sit as well on my skin as I would like it to. Um, and then I used like the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation for a while and that one was just, I don't know, it was making my skin react poorly to it. So, eh, I don't know. I still need to find a foundation I love. I don't have any that I'm absolutely obsessed with at the moment. Next up is favorite palette. So the first one that I got earlier in the year that I was really loving for quite a long time was the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. I've done a review on this. I got this in one of my Pop Sugar Must Have boxes. So, you know, for $40, I got this $36 palette and with a bunch of other stuff. Um, and this palette I really, really love. There were just a couple of looks that I would always use as my go-to, but I used this a ton this year. And the other palette set came at the, towards the end of the year, but I wore it for pretty much a month straight. So I got this little mini palette um, of the Reveal 2 in one of my Birch boxes, which made me buy the Reveal 2 palette. I absolutely love this palette. It is gorgeous. The quality is really pretty good. It's got a wide range of colors, and it's awesome, and it's great for the value. It's like, um... You can catch it for like $11 on the Coastal Sense website most of the time. But you can also get it on Birchbox if you use Birchbox points towards it and things like that. This is a really great palette for the price. It came towards the end of the year, but I absolutely loved, especially these four colors together. I thought they worked really well together. All right, for favorite mascara, I picked out the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express in Waterproof. This one I tried out this year. A lot of people have been raving about it, and I absolutely loved it. So I always curl my lashes, use this as my first coat, and then I started layering another coat on top of it. And this is just an awesome mascara, so that would be my new discovery this year. Next up is eyeliner, and I used up several eyeliners this year, and there was one in particular that I really enjoyed that was a double-sided eyeliner, and that was one for Empire and Uzi from the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil set. So I have both of the full size here too, because I have a crazy amount of Urban Decay eyeliners. Um, but these are really, really good. They create more of a natural look, but... Um, like Empire is a purple, so it still is emphasizing your eyes, but it kind of creates 
um, a different look because it's not like a typical black or brown and Uzi is just a nice more natural type of eyeliner um, And I really love these together. So I'm excited to get back to these eventually I'm working through some other eyeliners first and whatever but these together are really nice They don't stay as long on the lower lash line as I would like I think the next Next slide on glide on ones are better for that, but these colors I really enjoyed. Favorite nail polish again, I have two, technically three. So the first one is one that I have loved for a really long time. This is just like a um, shimmery, almost rose gold. It's got like reddish flecks in it, and this is the OPI Designer to Better. This was a limited edition one from a Muppets collection a couple years back, but I absolutely love this one. This is one of my go to ones, especially for holidays. This one's fantastic. And my other one is a combo that I really like. I really like to use the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure and Commander in Chic, which is kind of a purpley gray color. And then over top of that, I really love to layer this OPI top coat. And this is the OPI Nail Lacquer. I think this is Teenage Dream. It was from a Katy Perry collection originally. Um, but there's other nail polishes, similar top coats that you can find that are pretty much the same thing. It's just like a pink... Um, pink and silver glitter top coat basically, but this one is gorgeous. I love this one. And these two together look really, really cute. Favorite perfume. This year, I actually haven't been working on my favorite perfumes that much. I've been trying to get through some other perfumes that I just needed to finish up. And so I haven't been using these as much as I normally would, but these have been my all-time favorites for a while now. This one is the Justin Bieber Someday Perfume, and this one is the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck Perfume. These two, I just love these two. They're more like fruity type scents. Favorite product or hair tool. I have one of each. So my favorite tool has been the Conair Infinity Curling Wand. This one's like the smaller one. If you have seen my last couple of videos, I've had my hair curled with this wand, and I just love the curls that this creates. When my hair was longer, I really liked the look with it. Um, now that it's short, I like it. They're just kind of cute, more messy waves. They're not, or messy curls. They're not like ringlets all the time necessarily, so I really like that. And then my other one is the Carol's Daughter Macadamia Heat Protect heat protection serum and so this one is supposed to be a frizz fighting I've talked about this in a favorites video before I absolutely love this stuff I just put it on my damp hair it makes it a lot shinier it helps with heat protection um, it makes it a lot less frizzy so it's just good stuff I like that a lot my favorite snack is a combo of two things the first thing is the love crunch dark chocolate and red berry granola this stuff is amazing I love this granola and then I put it into the chocolate raspberry um, Greek yogurt I'm forgetting who makes that right now. I can only find it at Target. I don't get it. At, I don't think it's anywhere else. I think it's a Target exclusive. Um, but the combination of this with that is awesome. I love it so much and that's like my favorite breakfast food but it also makes for a really good snack. So definitely that combo of things is awesome. Favorite phone app. I would have to say kind of bounces between a couple of different things because honestly I don't do a lot of things on my phone besides the same couple of things. So I go on YouTube all the time so I say I guess YouTube would be one of the favorites. Um, I'm on Facebook a lot and I'm on Instagram a lot. So yeah, probably those three things would be my favorites. Although recently I've gotten the Overdrive app which links me to the public library here so that I can get audiobooks and digital books just straight to my phone from our library system and I don't have to go to the library. Sometimes I have to wait on books and sometimes I don't have all the books that I want. But that's really helpful for me. Like I just read Gone Girl on my phone through that app. Um, I've listened to Eleanor and Park through there um, and it's just a nice tool to be able to get books without having to go to the library because sometimes that's just kind of a hassle and an inconvenience so that's nice. Favorite TV show? Um, that one's kind of tricky because there's been a couple that I've really binge watched and loved this year. Um, I really fell in love with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That one's a great comedy with Andy, Andy Samberg in it. I watched a ton of Castle and I really love that show. Um, I need to finish watching that one. I kind of fell behind. Orange is the New Black Season 2 was phenomenal. Um, that one was amazing. That one came out in like June. Better Off Ted, we watched the entire series of Bob's Burgers. There was a ton of shows that I just binge watched and I loved this year. Um, if you want to see some of those, you can go look, go look back at my year favorites. Um, I have a link to those so you can kind of see what I loved throughout the year. I recently started watching Scandal and I'm like most of the way through Season 2 and I'm enjoying it, but I don't think it's like up there on my most favorites ever. But yeah, I watch a lot of TV binge watch a lot of TV. Um, favorite movie, I would say The Grand Budapest Hotel. I really, really loved. That was probably one of the top ones that I just, it was an amazing movie. Um, Wes Anderson does a bunch of random ones like that one, but that one was really, really good. That one would probably be my favorite. That's the only one I can think of off the top of my head that I absolutely adored from the year. It's hard to pick out one favorite song for me because I tend to 
latch onto a couple songs at a time and then listen to them for a while and then move on. Um, ones that come to mind would be like Sissy That Walk by RuPaul. Um, oh, I forgot to mention my favorite shows, RuPaul's Drag Race, for sure. I watched like four seasons of that this summer. That was insane. Um, yeah, so that one needs to go in there. But anyway, um, Sissy That Walk by RuPaul. Let's see, recently... I have absolutely fallen in love with Us The Duo. If you haven't heard of them, look them up on YouTube. They are amazing. They have two songs that I absolutely have been obsessed with recently, which are Final Bow and um, No Matter What. What else? The Secret Someone's Quit Pulling Me Down is definitely up there. Uh, Taylor Swift's Blank Space is definitely up there. Yeah, I don't, I can't pick just one favorite song because I just, I binge listen to music too. Um, so yeah, just a range of stuff. Any of the ones that I've listened to in that list, fantastic. Go check them out. Most watched YouTube channel. Um, there are a bunch of people that I have kind of become friends with on YouTube that I really watch pretty religiously. I love Jen Chapman and watching her videos. She's so funny um, and she's just fun to watch. Pretty Pistol 86 or Cherish I've watched a ton of this year. Um, and then there's like bigger people. There's like Nicole from Young, Wild and Polished that I absolutely love. Um, Leanne Says is always one that anytime a video comes out, I watch. I watch too much YouTube, too, so there's just a lot of people that I watch all the time. It's Kirsten has been one of my top favorites. I love her videos as well. Mm, yeah, so there's just a ton of people. At some point, I need to do, like, a shout-out video of the people that I watch the most often or people that I love. The store most visited would have to be Target because it's one of those all-in-one stores where you can get clothes, you can get groceries, you can get makeup. I probably went to Target way more than I need to in the last year, but that's it. Favorite item purchased would have to be my MacBook. I got my camera at the end of 2013. I was kind of waiting to purchase a better computer before I started film filming videos, so I finally got my computer in 2014 and so I could start filming my videos and making YouTube videos so I could start my channel. So that was my exciting purchase, my really expensive, exciting purchase for the year. Favorite lip product, again, I have two. I have the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm, and this one is in 230. I can never remember what these colors are. I want to say this is like something twist. I can't remember. Berry twist, maybe. Um, but this is just like a berry lip crayon. I really like this color. It's a nice one by itself. You can layer it with other stuff, and it doesn't wear off weirdly like the Revlon Just Spit and Kissable Balm Stains do. And then the other one would be this NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair, which is just like a natural pink type color. I love the smell of these. They're not too sticky, but they look nice. Favorite accessory, I'm going to kind of cheat and do three. I have two rings, so I have my engagement ring that I got at the end of this year, um, which, you know, is kind of good. And then I have this arrow ring that I got from my Wantable box a couple months back, although it's tarnishing and really sad, but I love this ring. And then my other one is a scarf that I got from my future mother-in-law last Christmas, and I think she got it on Amazon. It's just like the Chevron Infinity Scarf. I've worn it in several videos, I think. Um, but it's like white and mint green and kind of a grayish brown color. So this one's just like an easy, really nice scarf to wear. I have another one that's in brown, but I like this one way better because it's got mint in it. Mm -hmm. Best lesson, one of the makeup-wise anyway from my Project Panning stuff is I do not need nearly as much makeup as I have because it takes forever to get through anything. Um, so I don't need to go shopping all the time and buy stuff crazily. And I don't need to buy stuff just because they're hyped up on YouTube because there's a ton of stuff that I realized that I've gotten because I, the hype on YouTube and I hated it. So I need to figure out what works for myself and like look at reviews of what people have, like if they have skin like me and find foundations that I love that way or um, just do it a little bit differently than I did when I first started getting into makeup because I just bought everything that everyone told me I should on YouTube and most of it was hyped and it didn't need to be. My other lesson would be just uh, make sure that you cherish and love the people around you. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen and I just want to make sure that everyone that I love around me knows how special they are to me and how important they are to me all the time and that I spend my time with them and not on stuff that's not important. Favorite memory? Um, pretty much any time that I spent with my sister and my niece and my nephew and just hanging out with them was really great for me. I really love spending time with my family um, and just they're fun little kids and my sister's amazing and I'm glad that I live as close to them as I do because I get to spend a lot of time with them and enjoy being around them. Um, and then my other favorite memory would probably be just starting to plan my wedding with my fiance. Um, the engagement proposal wasn't the most romantic thing ever, so I can't really say, like, 
that was my favorite memory. Um, but there was one night that we just got to sit down and start planning stuff. We kind of planned out our playlist, our wedding playlist, before we did anything else because we're weird like that and that's kind of both our mentalities. We're like, music reception most important before anything else. We're weird. Um, but just sitting down and doing that and kind of talking through what we really liked and what we didn't and figuring out some of that stuff was fun. So, um, yeah, I would say those would probably be the top couple of things. And so this is the day, this is New Year's Day. It's the day after New Year's Eve. So the bonus question was New Year's Eve plans. And I didn't really have any. We spent most of yesterday kind of going around. I ordered my wedding dress. We started registering for stuff for the wedding. Um, and then I just came home and I wasn't really planning on doing anything, but my sister called and we ended up going to see Into the Woods, which I absolutely loved. I'm a total musical junkie, so that was really fun and I love Anna Kendrick and yeah, that was a really good musical. And then we went to Cold Stone Creamery, Kim got some ice cream and then we came home, hung out for a little while. And I actually stayed up until midnight for the first time in a couple of years because I'm an old person and I don't ever stay up till midnight. I don't do anything for New Year's Eve ever, so that was pretty much my New Year's Eve. Um, yeah, so that is it for my favorites of 2014. I'm sorry this video is epically long because I had a ton of stuff. Um, but if you guys haven't done this video or if you haven't done favorites, please do this tag. I love this idea and I love to see what people love for music and videos and stuff like that. So leave it in the comments if you do end up doing this. I would love to see it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.